Do you wish to have cleaner races when you don't hit your opponent when they are alongside you? Do you want to know exactly where they are when you're fighting right next to each other through turns? Well, if you do, then this video is just for you because we have an overlay that helps you with that. The overlay name is Radar because it's discovering all the opponents around you. So to find this, you have to click on Overlays and then Radar. And then we can see an overview here. So let's have a look at it first and then explore the settings. What we can see here is with a rectangle here, a white rectangle, this represents our car. Front of the car is here, rear of the car is here and the sides of it. And there are some graphics around it just to show you all the different angles. So this is the representation of your car. If someone is getting closer to you from behind, you're going to see this orange marker and this orange marker is going to get closer and closer to this white box, which is your car. And if it gets real close, that means the car just behind your bumper. And at the moment your opponent comes next to you, you're going to see him with this red marker and depends on which side you will see it on the left on the right and the overlay will track that opponent exactly where he is compared to your car so when he's going to be just right next to you you're going to see him right over here and then obviously if he's overtaking you you're going to see something like you can see in the preview on the left the overlay has two important settings, one is the active opacity, which tells you whenever someone is around you, how visible this overlay needs to be. Right now it's on 100%, if I pull down on 50% you will see that it's less visible, so it has some transparency. I usually like to have it on 100%, and the other settings, it's called inactive opacity, which tells you if no one is around you, how visible this needs to be. Obviously, if no one is around you, you're only going to see the white stuff, which might be distracting or you might just don't want to see it. You can easily pull it down to 0% so you won't even see the overlay when no one is around you. So next we're going to show some clips about how it looks when this overlay is in action so you can have a good feeling about how helpful it is for you and how useful it can be during your races. So this is a pre-recorded video, we are going with the Formula 1 car, if you're interested this is a McLaren MP430 and I placed the overlay on the top right side of the screen, as you can see the inactive opacity is set around 40% so it's not fully visible when no one is around us. As you can see there is a car in front, I've got a great help from Luke who is the designer for Race Lab. he also loves this series and he has a YouTube channel. His YouTube channel is Romy, I'm gonna link in the description so you can have a look, he has some great iRacing content as well. So let's see the following video, we're going to see a car getting close to us and we're going to see this orange marker getting closer and further away from us, representing Luke's car. And interesting to know that this yellow marker shows up when we are within 15 meters of the opponent's car. And yeah, you can see how we're getting closer and closer and then during the turn we kind of fall back a bit because we are not as good during that turn. But then he making a mistake and then we're getting again close to him. And as you can see here, we exactly know where his car is. Usually you wouldn't know. All you get from iRacing is a car is on left or car is on right. and. That doesn't tell you much unless you have a VR where you can see and look on the left side. We don't know. All we know that he's somewhere there. Without the overlay you wouldn't know where exactly he is, but with the overlay you can see that he's still quite ahead. So for the following turn we kind of need to be careful we are not crashing into him. And we could also see here that there was a moment when I could have decided to just go in the inside line and defend that so that I will prevent him to getting back at me but since he was still there right at my rear wheel I just couldn't do it without the overlay I might have decided to do it because I would have thought that he's not there anymore 
but now we get a good visual representation of his car so we can be more confident about our action. And let's have a look at the last scene, which is my favorite because it shows many different situations and it also shows where this aura shines and why is it useful. Have a look. I got very close there, around 2 meters close. So this is how our radar overlay looks, works and feels. If you have any questions, thoughts or improvement ideas, please place it in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and hit the like button if you like what you've seen. It helps to spread the video across all the other iRacers on YouTube. If you want to be up to date with the latest features, hit the subscribe button and see you guys later.